This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so we got... Yo, this is a post on Yo Gotti's page. Now, I put this up because Yo Gotti, I did not realize how he's being tortured right now after his brother passed. I didn't realize people were spamming his comments. He said, R.I.P. Big Joke, one of the biggest. That's a, that's a positive one. Then he says, you ain't sliding for your, calling him a big sister? R.I.P. Yo Gotti. They got your big sister. Uh, let that set in the rest of your life. Was it all worth it? You started this. And you got innocent people hurt. Bro, your whole family's marked. They call Memphis Dolphland. More people uh, smoking junk. Yeah, people are going in, bro. People are going in. People are going in on this. Um, you know, I don't know what happened to Big Joke's funeral. Nothing. Ha um, we'll see. They might have postponed it. Who knows? You know, it's, it's not looking like anything happened because people in Memphis would have reported it. There's not a peep, not a peep from Memphis. Okay. Funeral supposed to be uh, on Thursday. Didn't happen. Maybe it'll happen this weekend. Who knows? You know, things change. Glorilla. So she just dropped like a, a pretty good song and she didn't drop the whole song. I don't think. I think she just dropped a snippet. A lot of people were saying that Moneybag Yo is now writing for Glorilla because she was falling off lyrically and everything. She she needed help. Called up the Money yo, Bag Yo factory. Came in, wrote for her, and got her back right. That makes sense. Because how the, all of a sudden is she rapping back to Glorilla again? Or, or just sounding... She has a different sound. Hey, when you start getting money, you got to keep that money coming in. <laughs> she got bills now. You got Maybachs, you got houses and everything. You got bills. Anyways. All right, so Nicki Minaj compared um, compared Meg Thee Stallion to Pimp C or Bun B. Who do you want to be? And uh, I guess Pimp C's uh, wife, Shannara Butler, said... Um, Troll talk that Megan the Law hit a nerve. I see. Oh, I heard Nikki. That wasn't funny or cool. I'm going to address her, she said. And then she said, um, her dissing Meg by compared to the most legendary Southern artists in music history is. Oh, well, that's just true. I would say that they're one of the two. Uh. Because the, those two are legendary, but there's many legendary artists in the South. Outcast, uh, yeah, come on. She said, "Long live Pimpsey." I mean, that's just, that's her, uh, that's her husband. Now, then she starts talking about you lying on your mama, blah blah blah. This is all because you know Meg Thee Stallion came for her husband. I don't know if she came for her son, but. Then Tina Snow said, my mama really want me to slap her in her face. That was from 2011. And Nicki Minaj said, this is sick. Repent, wicked woman, repent. What a disgusting serpent. Y'all post party song under this. They paid party to make it disappear. Let's go. Uh, I'm shocked nobody saw this. Nicki Ben told us this. This beef didn't stem from WAP. Nikki was actively trying for a baby, and Megan kept trying to encourage her to drink. Uh, suggested that she should get an abortion if she was pregnant. Whoa. <laughs> Nikki said, I, Nikki Minaj said, I have the text. If I get the go, if anyone says I'm lying. So now we got the video and text messages. Y'all want to bring up family members and lying on your dead mother, lied to Gail, lied. You know, we talked about this. Nikki went in, bro. Nikki's mad. Nikki is mad. Fragment foot. Bullet fragment foot, bitch. I don't know dead mama. I don't know dead mama. I don't know dead mama. Not My gosh. <laughs> My gosh, Nikki. Nikki, what are you doing? Oh, she's mad. 
Then uh, let's. Oh, she said, "Here's here's the thing about Bumpy or Pimp C." I hate, I hate, Oh man. Anyways, I don't blame her. Stuart Dow with JT News. Peace.